Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, ayyub al-Alamin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd. The companions and the early scholars of this ummah, they were particularly concerned about Tawheed. And they made the call to Tawheed, to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because worship and worshiping Allah is our goal. That's what our life is based upon. The activities that we involve ourselves with in this life should help us in one form or another fulfill that goal. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal ins illa liya'budun. I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Giving us that path of guidance, the sirat al-mustaqim, which is to worship Allah alone. That's why the da'wah, the, the propagation of Islam, the correct propagation, which is the propagation of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, is based on Tawheed. It's based on the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illallah. Wahdahu la sharika. There is no God worthy except worship, uh, worthy of worship except Allah who has no partners. Ayola Habba. Let's take a look at the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Which illustrates for us that the person who wants to follow the command and the advice of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will, will uh, pay particular attention to this hadith. Qala bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu Man arada an yandira ila musiyyatu Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam fal yaqra qawluhu ta'ala التي عليها خاتمه في اليقرأ قوله تعالى قل قل تعالوا أطلوا ما هرم ربكم عليكم ألا تشركوا به شيئا إلا قوله وأن هذا صراط مستقيم فاتبعوا ولا تتبعوا الصبر ابن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه said that whoever wishes to follow the advice of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam or the wasiya of Muhammad the advice or the command of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam then which he was on until he died that's a very important ibarah here alati alayha khatamuhu filyaqra qawluhu ta'ala which he was upon until his death. This was the last thing the Prophet ﷺ was advising and ordering us to. Then you, if you want to follow that, then read this verse. قُلْ تَعَالُوا أَطْلُوا مَا هَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ أَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا Say, come and uh, read what your Lord has prohibited from you, prohibited you from, and that is to not associate partners with him. Shirk ayu al-habba, worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa taala, supplicating to other than Allah, prostrating to other than Allah, having love to the extent of worship to other than Allah, are all forms of shirk making tawaf around graves. If you believe that the people in those graves can help you and remove your harm, then that's shirk. If you supplicate to them, that's shirk, that's disbelief. That is polytheism, ayu al-habba, which is the opposite of tawheed. 
which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was on his whole prophethood alayhi salatu wasalam. And all the prophets alayhim after salatu wasalam were sent with that same message of calling to the worship of Allah alone. Avoiding shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُودٍ And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things which are worship besides Him. Meaning, stay away from shirk. All the prophets, alayhim abdul salatu wasalam, were sent with the message of tawheed and to stay away from shirk, polytheism, even though their laws were different. Then Ibn Mas'ud said, after reading that ayat, he said, read that ayat until the part when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the, the second part of the ayat, وَأَنَّ هَذَا الصَّرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ فَاتَّبِيُوا وَلَا تَعْتَبِيُوا سُبُلٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the same, in Surah Al-An'am, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, and verily this is my straight path. Then follow it, he orders us to follow it. And do not follow those other paths. Because those other paths lead to innovation, ayu al habba. Those other paths lead to shirk. The other paths lead to kufr, to disbelief. But as Muslims, we're ordered to follow the Qur'an. And the Qur'an was, was based upon Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, calling to the worship of Allah alone. And the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ was based upon calling to the worship of Allah alone and the implementation of that, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the minhaj or the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah followed that same path and gave us the proper understanding of that path. So that way we wouldn't Go to the second part where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, subul, So that we wouldn't follow the sabool. We wouldn't follow the various paths that lead to shirk, that lead to kufr, that lead to ilhad, that lead to bid'ah and ma'asi. Ayyullah habba, follow the advice of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and make your da'wah, make your methodology, Make what you call the people to, make what you practice the worship of Allah alone. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.